Hey YouTube, Logan with Hideaway Homestead here coming to you today with a, vid a video on uh, mushrooms. And I have mentioned in other videos that I've done about mushrooms, I am not a mycologist. I am not somebody to be the trusted source for mushrooms or mu like growing cultivation um, or uh, mushroom foraging. So please take everything that I'm going to say with a huge grain of salt. I don't want anybody, because of my videos going out and getting poisoned, by a mushroom that's inedible but now what i am going to do is i'm going to share with you what i found i was uh, getting ready to haul some stuff over to the property and do a few things over there and i happened to walk by a wood pile that i had and some of the wood had fell off the pile and was down and it got wet and there's all kinds of like turkey tails and different types of mushrooms growing uh in the wood and i found these little boogers these are oyster mushrooms and we got some more right down here growing out of the bottom of the log a really good flush and this is from a piece of firewood that I did not inoculate so this means that um, the area that I got these from there's probably oysters growing wild there uh, I'm gonna probably take this log and work it into an area in my woods to where I can get some more of, uh, of these types of mushrooms these are more of like a brown oyster the ones that we inoculated logs with is like a white oyster so these here have a slightly brown color um, i looked up all the different lookalikes and from everything that i can tell see how the gills run all the way down the stem and it really don't even have a stem it's like a little short stubby piece there and the caps are shaped like oysters they have a smell that's people uh kind of compare it to licorice which i guess it kind of smells like that but it smells very mushroomy to me mushrooms smell like mushrooms so i wouldn't be very good at uh discerning the smells unless it had like a pungent odor or something because a lot of the mushrooms had that like sweet licorice smell and they're supposed to be really delicious so if they're not delicious then it's probably not any good uh one of the things that i've i've learned from watching people uh that are really good at identifying mushrooms uh one guy that i really like and i went to one of his videos just to be sure about this too um learn your land on youtube dude man is super knowledgeable uh just just a really cool dude constantly going out and just foraging all kinds of stuff he does mushrooms but he does other like plants and medicinals and stuff and just talks about trees too love his channel go check him out uh learn your land on youtube uh, he'll pop up. He's he's uh, real popular. He ain't like my little Rinky Dink channel. Uh, but anyway, these here. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do. One of the things that he recommend. I think it was he recommended. I saw in one of his videos one time was that even if mushrooms are edible, and you are 100% sure about what you're getting, which is you know a couple of things you want to be sure of. You want to be sure that you are um, identifying the mushroom properly, and then not only that that um, when you do go to eat it, you cook it thoroughly. Uh, I am 100% all about eating red meat pretty much raw. But uh, as far as mushrooms, you want to cook them. They are uh, they can give you some uh, digestive problems if you don't. And the other thing is to so like I'll, I'm gonna take because uh, I've never had oyster mushrooms. I'm gonna take one of these smaller ones, and I mean I'm probably gonna cut it like in half or a quarter, just like a bite of it and cook it really well and then what you do is you eat it and make sure that uh your stomach can handle it because from what i've heard is there's some some people that um even an edible mushroom might give them some problems as far as uh, maybe a little bit of upset stomach or gas or something like that nothing that's going to kill you but at the same time remember first be sure you can identify them and the best way to do that is to go with somebody that can and as i've i've learned a little bit more and more about mushrooms uh, the more and more I'm willing to expand and try new things. I I've always liked mushrooms, but there's always that fear. Like, I remember growing up, um, uh, you know, just people that, uh, like, everybody had uh, mycophobia, the fear of mushrooms. Everybody was like, you know, oh, don't, you know, don't touch that mushroom if you're out in the, you know, yard as a kid and you uh, thought you might have touched a mushroom, you need to go in and wash your hands immediately. Uh, and later on, I've learned that, like, even some of the most deadly ones you can touch, you can even taste, but you just don't need to eat them because there are some of them that will just straight drop you dead. So, but anyway, I thought I'd share that with y'all. I thought that was pretty cool. Just an old piece of firewood out here that um, has become a mushroom log. So, 
we're going to let this guy keep producing and hopefully be able to get some of these to sprinkle spores on some other wood out in the uh, our, on our property. So anyway, if you like this video, if you found it helpful or it was entertaining, go ahead and leave a like. If you've got any questions or comments or if you need to tell me, no, don't do that. You're going to kill yourself. If you're a mycologist, go ahead and leave that down there too. And um, uh, subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this. I drop a video mostly every day. I appreciate all y'all watching and we'll see you in the next one.